On behalf of the AV Resort and Casino, we are proud to present to you Williams and Ree, the Indian and the White Guy. It's the Indian and two white guys. Because we have a band here tonight. Sherman is our band. He's our former partner. When we started 51 years ago, he was with us. And uh, some bitch left us. And we drug his ass back here tonight. So he's going to play some piano with us. It's not piano, it's... Uh, what do you call it? It's a, it's a keyboard. He's going to play some keyboard with us and make us sound a whole lot better. We hope. And we're pretty sure that it will happen that way. But we're just excited to be here in beautiful Laughlin, Nevada once yes. again. Yes. Just... I want to welcome my tribe, the white people here. Yes. If it weren't for my tribe, the Indian tribes, most of the Indian tribes around the country would be belly up and stinking. That's right. Because my tribe spends money there. That's right. But I want to get this straight. It's not the Avi. It's the Avi. Is that right? Am I right? No. Avi? I think it's the Avi. No? I think our driver gave us some bum information last night. Avi? Avi. How do you say it? Avi. Avi. Okay. Okay, all right. Here. I stand corrected. All right. The shit driver told us it was AV. <laughs> Should have known he's from Virginia for that. And he had an IV in his arm. Yes. <laughs> he's running for governor. But anyway, good evening. <laughs> Can you believe what's going on in Virginia? Yeah. Oh my God. All oh, for wearing black. Face. Yes. How could you white people let this happen? <laughs> you racist bastards. Oh my Remember god. Remember when we dressed up like Indians at oh, the tea party? Yes. <laughs> you know how many little shit white kids come dressed as Indians on Halloween? I just want to slap them off. <laughs> but I don't want the governor to lose his job. <laughs> It's just a job, for God's sake. So anyway, we're excited to be here. Good evening, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. And, welcome. and don't go 35 years back on us. Either, no. No. You'll find out some shit. There are some, there are some photos yep. of me in blackface. Yes. <laughs> there was a dark Cherokee that I thought I had a shot with. But anyway, you had a shot. Did you get that date, that Cherokee? Uh, no, no. Who did you, I, you I dated? dated a gal that was part Potawatomi, part Chickasaw, and part, uh, uh, uh... Oh, 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 <laughs> she was, uh, Potawatomi, uh, Paiute, and, uh... Chickasaw. Chickasaw. Part Chickasaw. Chickasaw. Yeah. 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 She was a chicken pot pie. All right. That's <laughs> Long ways to go for a joke you don't remember, but nonetheless, you let me into it. Nonetheless, we are so excited to be back here in beautiful Laughlin. What a dream come true! We flew into Las Vegas last night, and 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 then oh, we love Las Vegas. drove down here. What a beautiful drive! And, and the, the interstate was closed, so we had to take Boulder Highway. Sons of a bitch! Why would you live in Boulder? There's just no reason. I prefer Bullhead City myself. Bullhead oh, City, yes. What a, what a dream come true yeah. that is. Formerly <laughs> oh, called Humphrey Town. Oh, yes. Yeah. Whatever it was. Whatever it was. We, yeah. Our tour guide gave us all this information yes. last night. And, and he also it, said it's the AV. Yes, yeah. it's the AV. Yeah. And it's not. So yeah. we're not going to say that ever again. And we apologize. Yes. Yes, to the you apologize. To the court, um, yeah. Yeah. So, right. So uh, we didn't know what it was. And, yeah. And uh, I'm Sue, what do I care? Yes. <laughs> yes. And that's Sue, S-I-O-U-X. Yes. 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 That's what I am. From the plains of South Dakota. Yes. South Dakota. We got a lot of people from the Dakotas here. Absolutely. Tonight. They come down here because you don't want to be up there. No. <laughs> 
We were there Monday. We were in, in Sioux Falls Monday. It was like minus two and the wind was blowing 30, 40 miles an hour. Yeah. And they were Sun. chopping dogs off hydrants and oh. stuff. That's, that's like Indian fantasy food oh. there. Popsicles. Oh, it was not. There's no reason. You people are, I understand that you're pissing in the morning because it's been in the 50s down here. Yeah. Get just get over it. It's yeah. not cold here. That's right. So, so anyway. And the Dakotas want to want to get together now and form one big Dakota called Mega Dakota. Yeah. They want to put North Dakota and South Dakota together. Mega Dakota. Mega Dakota, yeah. No, and not going to happen. Yeah, well, that's okay because we, we, we got a... We got a girl governor in South Dakota now. That's right. A girl governor. Christy right. Noem. Christy Noem. So she's hot. She's uh, she's hot. She took the turkey to uh, Trump. She yeah. took the turkey to Trump. Yeah, and then Trump let it go. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. He pardoned it. Because Trump was saying, grab it by the... No. He no. He... <laughs> grab it by the giblets. Yeah, grab it by the giblets. What Trump was doing. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just so, I'm so thrilled. Just positively, I, I, I'm just excited yeah, to yeah, be here because yeah. uh, well, nice, nice crowd. Oh, really Friday great. Night, Thank you for coming. Early Friday, Friday every we one thank of you so very yeah. much. Yeah. The people show up every time you come, and we appreciate it. Yeah, damn right. So we were trying to, uh, we were trying to improve our show, do it a little bit better. So we thought we'd bring a real musician with us here tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Denny, Denny, give us a little arpeggio or something. You know, just show them what they got. To do. Oh, that sounds like. want to go have a, a dirty martini. Oh, yes. I had, him, I had him bring me a bottle of Chardonnay backstage. You know what they brought me? What? Barefoot. <laughs> That's not Chardonnay. That is not even wine. That's what wine the? flavored water. You can get that at Walmart for what, two seventy five? dollars 75 Yeah. And they brought it backstage. Yeah. That's it. Even the two buck chuck people go, <laughs> Really? Curtis, I'm telling you, he's got to pay for this. Oh, yeah. This is, I'm, I'm running up a tab. Well, yeah, tab, yeah, but, yeah, but he's a good guy. Bar, buy everybody a drink at the bar later There, tonight. there, there you go, yeah. Put it on the tab. Put it on the tab yeah. and yeah. sign it to your room. That's right. You need to sign it, Don Laughlin. Well, anyway. <laughs> The, I love Laughlin. Laughlin, you know, yeah. how to, and, and uh, the guy, you know, Don Laughlin started yeah. the casino on Britain, the towns named after him. Yeah. I'd love to have a town named after me. Yes. You've got towns named after you. There's, there's a... Uh, uh, white guy, Tennessee. No, no, there's uh, <laughs> Bruce. Bruce, South Dakota, and there's uh, Williams, uh, California. Yeah, there's all kinds, of, and, and I don't, I don't know. Is it any place the Van Vector is? There's no Van Vector. Williams, Arizona. Williams, Arizona. There, uh, there you go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, you know, I just, you know, uh, yeah. I, I, I would like to have a. Yeah. A oh, well, there's one named after you, Quartzite. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're excited to be here. Laughlin, once again, here, in, here at the at the uh, at the Abbey. It's just out here in. Uh, here on the reservation where white people come here and they don't even know they've left their country. <laughs> Boy, yeah. and they have legalized We've been locked your ass up for 20 years. <laughs> ain't, ain't a damn thing you can do about it. True, true. I, I was going to say they've legalized that uh, weed. They've oh, legalized weed you here. Legalize it? Walk down the first floor of the South Tower. Jeez. <laughs> Get a contact on it. <gasps> Smoking only. I was, I was speaking in tongues by the time I got to the other. <laughs> now marijuana is a good thing. I, I, I don't know. I've never. It's got healing properties. Yeah. You know? I'm taking the the CBD oil. No, CDB or CDB. Yeah. What is it? What no, it's CBD. You're right. Yeah. CBD. Yeah. 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 Because it's CDB is a Charlie Daniels. Charlie Daniels band. band. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie was was doing a lot of drugs in his day. When yeah. He, when he wrote that song, Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yeah. You're know, looking for a place to see. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a part in there. It's a chicken in a bread pan picking out dough. Granny does your dog bite. No child, no. 
you got to be on LSD or something. <laughs> Chicken in the bed, come pick it out. Don't. Granny does your dog bite. No child, no. Yeah. That's yeah. a drug. That's a drug thing. That's, that's, and, and, and speaking of drugs, right away I want to tell you, you yes. young people, you young people, if there are any young people here, I, 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 I see you one or two, but, but you young people, young. this is, uh, uh, first of all, uh, we've been doing this for, this is our 51st year of doing what we do. Yeah. Musical conductor. Yep. Who was formerly with Tony Bennett. But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, we, we, uh, we, 50 the first, first half of 50 years we had no direction. No. But our second 50 years, we want to teach the youth the of youth. this country. Young people. We want to give you a message. Yes. We want to tell you to not do drugs. We are drug free. <laughs> That's right. Today. <laughs> do not. Drugs. One day at a time. Drugs are not good for you. No. I tell people wherever we go, I am 69 years old, I've never done an illegal drug in my life. I will vouch for that Indian right there, he is 69 years old. That's right, and so... <laughs> 69 in real years, and Indian years is only 37, because they don't count the years they don't work. But if you... Drugs, that's our message. Yes. You can, because the drugs will kill you now. Ooh. It's not the it's not the marijuana. They have legalized marijuana. Yeah. It's not the marijuana. It's the other stuff that yeah. will kill you. Yeah. I saw the I saw the, the vaping. The vaping. vaping in the news the other Don't day. Guy vaped and the damn thing blew up and killed, killed him. him. The vapor. Blew up in his face and killed thing. him. They did, uh, vapor thing. They found some they saw they found some what do they call that? Fent THC. No, no, the other drugs that kill you. Oh, the fent uh, fentanyl? Fentanyl, which is an opioid. Yeah. Opioid. What a horrible thing. It kills you. Those yeah. opioids kills you. And terrible way to remember Sheriff Taylor's son. <laughs> Prescribe them for uh, for pain and yeah. stuff. That's a different thing. But yeah. don't get hooked on them. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Do Marijuana is okay. Yeah. You don't see any of the Surgeon General's warnings on them little bags. Yeah. It also shrinks hemorrhoids yeah. if you smoke it that I way. Know. It's usually the lint. There's not. But do not do these drugs. These drugs will kill you. And that other one, meth. Oh, meth! Do not do meth! Get scabs on your face and your gums bleed, and no girl is gonna wanna do ya unless she's got bleeding gums and scabs. Yeah. And if she's got bleeding gums and scabs, she's from Searchlight. And there's. People, you other, you older people, it's too too late. late. It's just, <laughs> you're on seven or eight prescriptions, yeah. you know, twenty sometimes. Yeah. If, yeah. if smoking yeah. marijuana does it for you, do all you want because yeah. it's it's yeah. legal now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's the other stuff that we need to stop. And, exactly. And it's just so uh, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. Don't, do not do that. Do stuff to prolong your life, like yeah. like we have done for fifty years. When I first met this Indian, he was just a, a lonely Indian boy, but I saw him at freshman orientation at Black Hill State College in Spearfish, South Dakota. Just him and his guitar, he came out singing. Yes, you can applaud here. Yes. And he came out all by himself to freshman orientation, they had bands and they had orchestras and singers, and then this lone Indian boy strode into the spotlight and sang the Indian National Anthem. This land is your land, this land is my land, get the hell off my land, go 
Unlike the Mexicans who will steal from you. But anyway, this, uh, just kidding. Just yeah. kidding. We do want to point out also that throughout... Uh, we are uh, not politically correct. Absolutely. <laughs> and never will be. Not and never will be. Because yeah. old, and we tried, we tried to change. I yeah. mean, we tried. We said, okay, we can't do... Yeah. We can't do that anymore. Okay. We tried... We tried like kid jokes, yeah. you know, we come out, we Dad said, jokes. yeah, you know, yeah. like, like if you're ever, you know, if you're ever attacked by a mob of clowns, go for the juggler. I said, I ate three cans of alphabet soup. Oh, what a, what a vowel movement I had. <laughs> But anyway, so those are the things we tried. You tried. You tried the. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we did I, things like, like, did you hear about the guy who fell into the upholstery machine? No. What happened? Oh, he's recovered. <laughs> and that's just not us. Yep. But yet we're going to continue to try to do yeah. those uh, the politically correct things. And I have to be careful what I say. Yeah, so I cannot not, do the Indian jokes that I've done for so many years. Tell them we are not going to do. We're not going to do. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do Indian jokes he, anymore. Not, not, I can't do it. Yeah. I He's can't. racist. He's yeah. racist. I, yeah, I would be deemed racist. Here are two of the jokes that I cannot do anymore. <laughs> What do you call an Indian with an IQ of 100? I don't know. A tribe. <laughs> What's a seven course meal on the reservation? A six pack and a puppy. <laughs> so these are the type of things you will not hear. But we're glad that you're here tonight because it's a festive occasion. Right on. We're gathering here 
and, and we're going to have some fun. And not only just here, but after here. We, and when we hit the casinos, oh, the oh. casino is so, oh. uh, oh, it's just exciting out there. The machines, yes. tonight, yes. tonight they told me oh. that it is an Indian giveaway. 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 They, they have loosened five of the six screws in every back panel of every slot machine. That's right. So if you do not win, you've been properly screwed. That's right. If you cannot win here tonight, loser, loser, you're there. So, so anyway, uh, this is uh, this is what we're doing. And As I said, when we first started out, he was in college, yes, and that's where I met him. I got a scholarship to go to Black Hills State yeah. College. Get a scholarship. Yeah, yeah. one hundred and fifty dollars a year. Thank you. <laughs> Which back then paid for everything plus two hookers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were old hookers, 79 and 82, but one of them died during the act itself. We didn't bury her for two days. So. It was a mercy killing. <laughs> it was. And, and so uh, anyway, that's where we met, and we, we would hang out in his now, room. Now, first of all, you remember 1968, yeah. when we graduated from high school, mm -hmm. Uh, you had two choices. Right on. Number one, you could go to college. Right. Number two, you could go to Vietnam. My people, the Sioux people, we had no argument with the Vietnamese. We still, to this day, do not know what they did to piss you white people off. But first of all, we want to say, if you served, welcome home. That's right. We thank you for yes. And so, uh, you know, I, I Googled it the other day. You yep. know, the Google thing, you know, yeah. that's smart. It's amazing. I Googled it. I said, why was there a Vietnamese conflict? Why? It turned out, it turned out that apparently white people did not want the Vietnamese to come here and do nails. <laughs> well, that's all changed. You know? I just had a mani pedi from a Vietnamese gal the other day. Yeah. She said, oh, you got fungus. Oh. <laughs> Your big toe looked like a truck. Yeah, so, uh, so uh, my people had no argument with, with, the, with the Vietnamese. They're just little brown people. Yep. They look like Chippewas. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I decided to go to college. Yes. And and I barely got in. I yeah. was not the sharpest uh, student in. Oh, and we want to we want to welcome our vets uh, yes. from uh, Black Hill State that are here oh, tonight yes. too. There's a, a whole club of veterans uh, that are here from our college. No, they shouldn't have their vets and, yeah. and that. They've sort of already thing. paid. Yeah. And, then, really and then, should then another thing, everywhere. you know, I was, I was watching, speaking of vets, you know, I yeah. was watching this, this news thing and, and Trump is saying, bring the, bring the troops home, bring the troops home. That's a good, oh, yeah, I got elected, you know, he said, I'm going to bring the troops home. I said, bring them home, by God. Yeah. 18 years we've been in Afghanistan. You sons of bitches took all our country in less time than that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little pissed about that, I sure <laughs> That's true, because we fed you turkey and then you fell asleep. Yeah. <laughs> so it all came to be too movement. Yeah, it all happened, it all started a long time ago. But nonetheless, that's how it started, and that's where we were. Right. And so I was in college, 1968. Yep. And, and, and you were already a big country star. Yeah, but what you he, what he did not know was I was already a big star in I South Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. I played all across the state of South Dakota, from, from Belfouche to Huron, South Dakota. I played all the, all the bars, all the honky-tonks, all the, all the little night spots. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, I was doing that when, when I met country. You. Boy, yeah. you were. I was a country guy. I was a country, real, old country. Real. Old country, yes. not the new shit they're doing today. No, not there. No. Indian boy, shake it for me, boy. Shake it for me, boy. Shake it for me. Indian boy, shake it for me, boy. Shake it for me, boy. Shake it for me. Shake it from the river, shake it from the trees, shake it for the Indian with government cheese. <laughs> Country, so there I was in my in my suite, yeah. in my suite at, at, at the dorm, Pankburg Hall, yeah. and uh, I was doing a song like this when you walked in. There's a place down the street we call Sam's Place. Oh, it's 
start jumping in heat when the sun goes down. And you can always find me down at Sam's place. Cause that's where the game all hangs around. There's old Shimmy shaking Tina. Jail's past Nina. So it's gotta be a smile on her face. There's old Hoochie Poochie Hattie. It's called Cincinnati. And there's always a party at Sam's place. And I'll meet you tonight at Sam's place. I love Buckle. Yes, I was that. We were on Hee Haw for two years. That's right. And we just did a reunion show uh, on RFD Network of all the uh, Hee Haw people that are still alive. Still alive. Yeah. It was mostly women. Uh huh. It was mostly Hee Haw. Mostly women. It was. Uh, it was uh, uh, Lulu. Lulu Roman. Lulu and uh, and uh, and uh, Misty Rowe. Misty Rowe. Yeah. And, and uh, that's about it. That's all. Like, uh, Hee Haw. It was filmed, and if you ever go to Nashville and go to the Grand Ole Opry, the new Grand Ole Opry building, not the one downtown, the one out in Opryland, they call it. Um, they have a big studio in the back of that, and that's right. where they did Hee Haw. Yes. And they had so many people on Hee Haw. They had men's dressing room and, and a women's. women's dressing room, and then the stars, all they, they got their Old dressing rooms. Yeah, but, so we were in the dressing room with uh, Grandpa Jones, uh, George Lindsay, Goober, Goober, and, uh, and all the uh, Gordy Pratt, uh, no, uh, no, Gordy Tap, 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 and yeah. a lot of Canadians. There was two Canadian guys on there, and, yeah. and so we would be in the, in the men's dressing room with them, and and the things we saw, oh. we cannot tell. Yes, <laughs> the nudity, nudity and uh, debauchery. George, George Lindsay, mm -hmm. Goober. Mm -hmm. Nastiest son of you ever. <laughs> Not to say he of the dead. No, yes. but he would take yeah. off his clothes and, and run around naked. Oh. And he had a set of. Oh. <laughs> that reminded me. As of you him. get older. Yeah. <laughs> things fall. They fall. Yeah. They fall. He would. He could actually take his his testicles, shove them between his legs, bend over, and say, "Fruit basket, fruit basket." <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Grandpa Jones, yeah. see, set your razor thin ass down here, George. You don't know a damn thing. Yeah. I mean, it was so much fun. It, it was, was a Jones. change of life. Fried chicken, courage, and cut. You know, I mean, he was just. Yeah. It was just fun. So. I'll tell you, and it was nothing like when you and I got together. No. Everything we kept our clothes on. Yes. We didn't. Uh, you know, do some debauchery and everything. No. I learned from you how to be a good country music singer. Well, that's right. You did. Because I provided harmony. Harmony. With your country. That's what we need in this world today is yes. harmony. Yes. And especially, yes. Yes. especially in this country right now. Yes. And, uh, and, uh, and it just, just, everyone should just get over this. Yep. You're not this and you're not that. We're here. Because he... He was country, and I didn't say, oh, I like rock and roll. Well, I didn't sucks. know. I did not know, but he knew rock and roll. Yeah. He was a rock and roll guy. Right on. He did all of yeah. the rock and roll. Everything I ever knew yeah. or know about country music, you taught me. Yeah. Do a little rock and roll. For you want some rock and roll? How about some Beatles? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, the animals. The animals. Yeah. Eric Burton and the animals. Yeah. Mellow yellow, quite right. They call me mellow 
after you took too many reds. <laughs> Instant recognition, people from <laughs> right, So, you know, the, the middle yellow, but, but when you got to the electrical banana. That was another drug. Yeah. Disguised yeah. in the song, electrical banana was referring to a banana peel. You took the, you threw away the banana, took the peel, put it in the oven, baked it, and then rolled it up, smoked it, and then you took a trip. <laughs> First of all, you can't, just, you can't just bake something. You have to know what temperature, how long. Uh, An hour at 350? <laughs> I don't know how I know that. And then you, and then you take... Then you take the banana peel and you roll it up and smoke it. Smoke it, yeah. Is that, is that, is I, and you take a trip. Then you take a trip. I don't know. I'm, on my reservation, the only people who took trips were, were on the tribal council, so I didn't get it. <laughs> no, this wasn't like a van excursion. This was, uh, this was a hallucinogenic trip. Really? Yeah. Many of the songs, the Beatles songs, are all talking about that Lucy in the sky with diamond. No, 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 that's, that's a fairy tale. That was written uh, about, about uh, John Lennon's kid, uh, Julian, uh, who came home with a picture, and, and John said, what is that? And he said, that's Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy was his school pal. Really? Yeah, so that's all, that's a myth. That's. I don't think that's what it was about. Remember, remember this one? One pill makes you larger and one pill makes you small and the one they call Viagra don't do diddly squat at all. Try Cialis. There's two black people, they're in tubs, they're looking out over a valley, there's no water in the tubs, they're holding hands, what's up with that? They haven't aired that commercial in 15 years, I don't know what the hell you're remembering. Well, there's new drugs out there, they got a new drug for Peyronie's disease, I didn't even know it was a disease, Peyronie's disease, Peyronie's. that's when you have a bend in your unit. <laughs> Serious. serious. If you have a band in your youth, uh, Bill, Bill Clinton had one. He did. He did. In one of uh, Monica Kaczynski's statements, Lewinsky. Lewinsky. Kaczynski was a Unabomber. Clinton was a Unabanger. He just did it that one time. So this. So she said that he had a bend in his, and that's what Peyronie's disease, it can be a bend or a bump on your unit. Well, thank you for sharing, Bruce. Uh, now, I just don't feel comfortable discussing this. I know, uh, I know. I, what about the guys who don't have enough to have a bend? <laughs> like me. That 
hours. <laughs> well, then there, there's a benefit dance for those people. I don't know. Featuring, I know, <laughs> featuring so Snubby Johnson and the Disappointment. <laughs> But anyway, uh, no, I, I just yeah. don't feel comfortable drugs, yeah. discussing that. The, yeah. drug, the drug thing, we're, we're, trying to, yeah. we're trying to teach the people well, not don't, to... Don't do illicit drugs. Yeah. 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 You know, the, 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 yeah, drugs we... we yeah. Cocaine. Remember when cocaine was really popular? Stuff? Yes. They yes. said, oh, this is the love drug. Yeah. Yeah. No, maybe one time. Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> But after that, Bobo wouldn't jump through the hoop. Okay, anything. so all right, so this, uh, this is what we've done uh, over the years. We started uh, in college. Yep. Uh, Denny was there, mm -hmm. and we would uh, we would tra travel. Uh, and we combined our rock and country roots. Played at Deadwood all summer. Yes. At, uh, at the Stockade Lounge. Yes. Uh, Stockade Lounge. It was a <laughs> Stockade open air <laughs> bar. Open air bar. Yeah. In the middle of the street, and then when it rained, we went into the Buffalo Bar. Yeah. And it was just our first road job was in uh, Valley City, North Dakota. Valley City, oh, North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. People from North Dakota here? Yeah. It is really freezing ass up there. <laughs> next week, next week we go to Orlando. We're in Orlando on the 14th and the 15th of February, and on the 16th we're in Devil's Lake. <laughs> you might, there might be a temperature change there. Yeah. That's when one of your nipples falls off. Yeah. <laughs> It is, it is, that's what we do. We just travel yeah. all around the country and, yeah. and do what we do because we're not sure what we do. We, no. And we've never been sure no one's of what we do. We were, we were talking with Denny when we started. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Valley City, North Dakota Hotel Rudolph was our first yeah. gig on the road. We left, we left college, we all left Spearfish, and, and we went to uh, uh, Huron. I think we did Huron for a week, and then we went up there. Yeah, then we went up there and... And from there, uh, it, it's, it's we went just, to uh, uh, Breezy, we, Point. Breezy Point, Minnesota. Yeah. And from, uh, from there, we went to the Hopkins House in, in, in Minneapolis, yeah. where, where it was cold. It was so cold. And I'm so sick of these people now thinking that, you know, 10 below, 18 below, 20 below is cold. Yeah. It's not cold. No. It was cold when we, when we grew up. Yeah. It was cold. I can remember being at the Hopkins House for like 10 days in a row, the warmest it got was 20 below. Right. And yeah. that was before they were doing wind chill. Yeah. We had no idea how wind chill was. Yeah. When I was a kid in Huron, uh, South Dakota, you, you, in wintertime, you dress. You wear long underwear, you put on two pairs of socks, you put on your jeans, you put on your shoes, you put on your your, your overshoes, yeah. you put on your, your parka, the layer, you wrapped a scarf and you put on a stocking cap and you went out and you waited for the damn bus. You know, on a snowbank. You know, you stood on a snowman waiting for the bus. And the bus was driven by an alcoholic. <laughs> Swear to God, some bitch was an alcoholic, drunk all the time. You could smell him when you walked on. Yeah, get out, shut up. <laughs> and he'd go to the next stop and he'd hit the brake and his bottle would roll out from under the, <laughs> under the thing. Nobody give a shit. Nobody, nobody else wanted to drive the bus. This guy, this guy drove the bus. He didn't have any wrecks. He didn't kill anybody. That's just the way it was. This, the world has gotten too politically correct. That's right. I'm watching the weather. It's 10-15 it's, uh, below in Minnesota. They're closing the schools. Mm -hmm. That's unheard of. No way. We have, we have, yeah. we have uh, wussies yeah. for children now. Wussies. Wussies. Yes. All they can do is look at their damn iPhone yeah. and tell you what temperature is. Yeah. Siri, uh, how cold is it going to be? Yeah. Well, it's going to be 15 below. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't even, you know, the kids are just worthless nowadays. Yeah. They don't even, they don't even know how to date. They can't communicate. They can't date. They, they get, they get to a, a site, what do they call it? Tinder. Tinder now. Grinder. You swipe, you swipe to the right if you want to just date, and you swipe to the left if you want to do the old... <laughs> and they do that. Yeah. They don't even have to talk. Yeah. I mean, this if is... If you want to pick up a girl, you say, would you like to come over to MySpace so I can Twitter your Yahoo and you can come over to Facebook? These poor little bastards will never know the thrill of chasing. Chase. 
the chase. A woman yes. chasing someone that yes. you want to spend some time with. Yes. And and let it, having her play hard to get. Yes. Because you know? yes. that's what the women did. They, yes. they never, oh, oh, I never I kissed just, I couldn't on the first date. No, no. Third base? No. I think not. No. 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 And then along comes the um, lieutenant Inter governor from Virginia. But anyway. <laughs> And they, they just don't. Everything's know. rush. It's yeah. immediate gratification. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. And it's just, and it's just I hard. I kind of know what that is. Hard you know? to Because I was so quick after I got married the first well, time. I, I was so quick. I mean, when she was moaning for the second time, I was at Denny's ordering a walk. <laughs> So we combined our genres. Yeah, so yeah. we took the we country. took the country thing that I was doing, yeah. we took the, the rock and roll thing that, yeah. that he was doing, and we yeah. so put it together, we did our own little thing like this. Buy you a diamond ring, my friend, if it makes you feel all right. I'll give you anything, my friend, and if it makes you feel all right. Because I don't care too much for money. Money can't bring you love. Each and every time I don't care too much for money Money can't buy me love Can't buy me love Everybody tells me so Everybody Can't buy me love No, 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 no Sounds so good, we said, hell, there's no sense in person. <laughs> what? Are you a swinging crowd? It's a swinging crowd? Are you a swinging crowd? What? Oh! Crazy. 
but that's just what they say. It's me and the Indian back in Laughlin today, just a swanky. Measure to the kneecap, we've got tons of <laughs> Seven, 29 years old, something like that, is suing his parents. Yeah. Suing his parents because he did not give them consent to create him. <laughs> Take him out. Wow. Take him out. Gee. There is no reason wow. for white sons of bitches like that to be on this <laughs> Just sick of them. Wow. Sick of them, my Yeah. yeah. So and what yeah. about uh, what about when uh, like you guys, your, your names and stuff? You know, because of speaking of creation and stuff, when when you guys were on this planet and you were lived on this land and stuff before we got here, yeah, your names were like stands by the rock. <laughs> so you would name your children after the first thing that you saw. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like a American tale, you know, a myth. Myth, really? Yeah, because uh, that didn't always happen. Huh. You know, with it, certainly not with every tribe. I mean, there are tribes, you know, the Sioux and the Chippewa and the Choctaw and the Cherokee and the and the Blackfoot. They're totally different. They're totally different. They're like French and Italian and German. And uh, but you white sons of bitches have lumped us all together. <laughs> Like we're just one group of people, and, and you call us Indians. And hey, I'm proud to be an Indian. I am uh, uh, an Indian American Indian. I was born in this country, now I'm American Indian. <laughs> the reason we're called Indians is because Columbus was lost. <laughs> Columbus was lost, he had no idea where the hell we were. He was looking for the East Indies, and he showed up here. Yeah. Thank God he wasn't looking for turkey. Well, I don't know. <laughs> be part of the Butterball tribe. <laughs> if, I, if I was a Butterball tribe, I'm sure I'd be chief. Because when that little button pops out, I'm ready. Man. <laughs> Must uh, uh, clarify, like like uh, yeah. Senator uh, Warren, uh, the American Indian. <laughs> what a stupid ass bitch! <laughs> Pocahontas, that's fine. So, so anyway, uh, uh, yeah, we're called we're called Indians, yeah. and, and, and we know we're not Indians. Because Indians are from India. Oh yes, that's why they're Indians. Yes. They are from India, mm -hmm. but we are from the stolen United States, <laughs> and we're American Indians. Yeah. So that's it. Because yeah, yeah. If you want to talk to a real Indian, call AT and T, my guy. <laughs> Don't expect luggage to arrive. That's right. The other one is doesn't even leave the airport. <laughs> this is this, this is just what it is. So anyway, all right. Anyway, let's do let's do one song. 
Uh, we had a request earlier. A young gentleman came up to me and he said we'd like to hear Running Bear. Running Bear? Oh my God, this is a, uh, probably the first song, first song that I ever learned on the reservations of South Dakota. <laughs> All right, we know that one. One little, two little, three little, 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 how much is that doggy in the window? I'm really quite hungry, you see. Is that a Pomeranian or a pit bull? A real Indian delicacy. Hot dogs, armor hot dogs. What kind of Indians eat armor hot dogs? Fat bucks, skinny bucks, bucks who climb on rocks. Short bucks, sissy bucks, even bucks on chicken bucks. Do you remember this one? together cause you're a gay friend and we're really into leather but we're running just as fast as we can holding on to one another's hand trying to get away into the night and then you put your arms around me and we tumble to the ground and then I say get off <laughs> I think you're a queer now I hope some of you might remember it was like this. I will translate. On the banks. On the banks. Of the river. Of the river. Running bear. Running Young Indian breed. On the other side of the river. Still is lovely. And in me. My God. What's a her name? Such a lovely sight to see. But the tribes. But with each other.
for the sure. assistance. She's got this, a problem moving in. These are actually the tunes that we did. Yeah. Uh, over the years. Yeah. Dingo! Uh, Dingo, we'll do that. Okay. I want to propose a toast to everyone. Keep your glasses high. I can't say a damn thing. Your drink glass. Here's an Indian who sat on the rock. He had one hand on his bow, the other on his tomahawk. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about this one? May the wind at your back never be yours. Oh. <laughs> Days of old when Indians were bold and toilets were not invented. They're here. They pulled off the road, dumped their load, and rode on quite contented. <laughs> there was an old broad from Needles. <laughs> she might be here. So we've got some requests now. Yes. We can do these things. Oh, I didn't drink good water now. <laughs> yes. Stick with white man soon, no longer have to poop by Big Rock. <laughs> watching the Lone Ranger the other day. <laughs> we were watching. We, yeah, oh, yeah, that was yeah. that RFD. Yeah. Yeah. RFD is RFD. showing the Lone Ranger in uh, colorized uh, episodes. <laughs> Just outside of town, where the Lone Ranger has sent Tonto into town. He always was doing that, always sending Tonto into town yeah. for some Because he had a mask, and they would think he was going to rob them, and they would, oh. they would shoot at him. But some Which meaningless is task he would send him in for, yeah. is that, like, Tonto, go get me two Kit Kat bars. Yeah. <laughs> and Tonto would go in there, and always, you know, 18 guys would beat the shit out of Tonto. Yeah. Just one guy. Somehow, yeah, never one. Never one, never two, never three. Always 18 guys would jump Tonto. And then he'd come. Because Tonto would fend him off and then he'd come crying back. You know, somehow he'd get to his horse. What was, what was Tonto's horse's name? Scout. 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 Yes. That's a good, good call. Good That's call. right. And then he would he'd get somehow Scout would take him back to where yeah. the chicken shit Lone Ranger was. <laughs> Quivering like a woman. <laughs> Boulder City. No. Boulder City. No, over there in uh, San, San Diego. Uh, uh, can't think of it now, but... Pomona or somewhere. Pomona. Jeez. No, uh, anyway, anyway, that's... Uh, so, so yeah. what, what's the request? What are we going to do? Uh, you flash what do you want to do that? Well, I, I guess we could try uh, that. And what else did we have? Uh, Pubic hair? Elijah. Elijah, we'll do that. That we have, we right. can't be here all night though, because some of you old people are going to have to pee here. Pretty <laughs> Those of you that are already wearing adult diapers, just go ahead.
songs in Nashville, so he's been working, doing, doing some pretty good. He's got some big songs. You yep. you wrote one for uh, Toby Keith? Toby Keith, Toby Keith. Yep. What was the name of that one? Uh, while I was out getting hammered, she was home getting nailed. He never saw it. Someone got to it before they reached him, you know, just right at the last second, pulled it aside and thought they would record it and then didn't. Okay. And then, uh, well, you have some, you've had some other success. Uh, uh, John Conley. I oh, wrote one for John Conley. Remember, he had, uh, I'm just a common man, a traffic common fan. My dog ain't got a pedigree. Oh, yeah. yeah, I just write that. Rose-colored. 
Rose colored glasses. Yeah, so you did, you wrote a song for him? Yeah. What was the name of that one? I got over you when I found you under him. <laughs> and what album uh, was that? I don't believe he ever saw the song. He didn't. It was never presented to him in a you, way. You did have one, one hit that, that you wrote with uh, Brad. Co wrote. Co wrote with Brad Paisley? Yes. The, the name Remember of that? that one? Yeah, that was uh, you, you, uh, You'll Never Be My Wife, But You'll Always Be My Cousin. <laughs> So I'd like to introduce you to my, my partner now, Mr. Don Williams, as he now <laughs> steps center stage. Did you say Don? You yeah. said Don Williams. Is that just a, you're just kidding. Because. Yeah. Don't you Don? Bruce, don't you Bruce Don Williams? Please. Bruce Don. <laughs> Who names their kid Bruce Don? Why? Somebody from Kentucky would do that. <laughs> no, it's just Bruce. Bruce? Bruce Robert. Not Don? You're not Don? Bruce Robert. I thought Don, Don Williams was a famous... Yeah, singer. Coffee black. Singer. Are this daylight on the river? Laboring on Tulsa time. Yeah, that's a bit of you know that one, Tulsa yeah. time. That yeah. yeah. Remember that one, but you didn't write those? No, I'm not Don Williams. Don Williams is dead. <laughs> I mean, he's Excuse great. She's. Here's an in we trade now. <laughs> <laughs> you give me your land. <laughs> I give you this shiny object. <laughs> Pretty much how it happened. All right, so once again, here is my partner, uh, Mrs. Oh. Dick Williams, to do for you. I caught that one. Not, not, that one. not, uh, not Don. Not Dick. Wait, like, Remember when you guys used to do that all the time? I got a Especially when you first got guns, you were so proud. <laughs> Before that, it was like, I got a stick. <laughs> okay, Courtney, no, we really should have had a ball. <laughs> but here he is, Mr. Bruce Williams. Yes, thank you. And thank you, Larry. And a, yeah. Terry. 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 Thank you, Terry. An original composition. An original composition. Which is this? I'm going to do one I wrote. Okay. It's a beautiful song that I wrote. Thank you so much. <laughs> Beige I love them robust. 
Oh, I yes. love all the parts. But you can't say it. <laughs> You so, could say that. I, that's how I prefer my women. I don't want them to look like they're supposed to look in magazines. Well, I want a little flesh with my men. Well, thank you, Conway. Conway, we thank you for talking about your lovely fat ass wife. <laughs> you see that, bro? Her ass is this wide. This wide. But and she, did you see? Who cares when you look like that? Well, she had on. A, did you see the the? Her, her and her sister Chloe, or yeah, Chloe. you know all that. This shit all started with OJ. Yeah, started with OJ. Yeah, when he when he uh, slashed the the wife and yeah. the, and the boy, uh, the you know waiter or whatever. Yeah, and got away with it. He gave the knife to Kardashian. Yep. Kardashian got rid of the knife of OJ. Yep. They never found the knife. They exactly. never found the murder weapon. Yeah, Kardashian's exactly. kids. Yeah, Chloe. Is it Chloe? Yep. Chloe. Who's the other one? Uh, Mindy. <laughs> who's, the, who's the fat ass Kanye? What's her name? Kim. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. They, they, I mean, they're, they all turned out to be, you know, really good looking people. Beautiful. Jeez, it's the asses. This. <laughs> well, that's coming from someone who has no ass at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's just two coffee beans yeah. nailed to a shingle. <laughs> I got the huge upper torso from uh, chasing the buffalo for so many centuries. And then every time you guys would catch a buffalo, you'd all go running out there, rip the wings off, and dip them in sauce. Yeah. So OJ, his friend was Kardashian, who later died, uh, and, so, and, and the kids went on, and the Mrs. Kardashian ended up with Bruce Jenner. He's the son bitch that really started this world in turn upside down. Bruce Jenner, okay? strongest man in the world, Olympic champion, won the gold. He beat a Russian on steroids before we even knew what the hell steroids were. He was such a great athlete, they put his picture on boxes of Wheaties. Yeah. And now he's on Fruit Loops. Yeah. <laughs> it all goes back to the end of Kardashian. OJ, Kardashian. If he ever goes missing, they'll have to put his picture on a cart and a half and it's half. Just like Bill, he's got a rubber spine. It's just his luck when he drives his truck, keeps getting it from behind. But Whiplash Will, he's hard to kill. He's a real good sport. Yeah, if you've got your checkbook handy, he'll settle out of court. He goes, come on, come on, come on, come on, and I dare you. Yeah, bust me, bend me, hey, rear in me. Don't let this neck brace scare you. Whiplash Will's at the bottom of the hill. He's got no tail lights on. He's sitting in the dark. He's awaiting double park for a Cadillac to come along. In the United Rolls out of 98 Olds, he'll be glad you came. But if you're driving a folks, he says, move on, folks. You're messing up my game. He goes, come on, come on. Hit me, hit me, I dare you. Yeah, I'm going to split, bend me, hey, rear end me. Let this neck brace scare you. Whiplash wheel from Hendersonville. He does not work alone. He's got a doctor and a lawyer and an Indian and a white guy waiting by the white people.
people cannot help themselves. <laughs> Drums, that right foot starts going. You know. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and a boom, boom. Just shake your rum. I'm a farmer. I work on the farmer every day. And milk a moo moo cow. Can I get some fries with a shake, shake, booby? Looks could kill you, would be an oozy. You're a shotgun. Fine. What's up with that? Fine. I want to know. How does it hang? You know, there's. You have been. You have been. Every time you turn around, you're hitting me with an Indian chap. Even though I know you're not racist. No, he's, he's not. He's I'm not. not some, I, bitch, I, some bitch voted for Hillary. <laughs> I voted for Hillary because my wife wanted me to vote for Hillary, and she gives me sex <laughs> three times a year. All right. So anyway, he is, not. he is not a racist person. He, and I am not attractive. He, that attractive either. My man boobs are just out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we get it on, she's got to be on top. Otherwise, I sag into okay, her. Anyway. I can't hear a word she's saying. Yeah, yeah. And when you get to be my age, talking is half the deal. That's <laughs> I need to hear that reinforcement. Like, come on, big fella. Yeah. But all I hear is... <laughs> Night, I reached down to grab her breast. It was mine. Stop it. Some of the best sex I've ever had. Stop it. She had left the room already. Oh, fat bastard. Well, anyway, <laughs> I wanted you to see if you could do a song, any song that you want, as long as that song did not contain any ethnic reference. You're that tired of all the Indian uh, references. Sure. Yeah, we, we, okay, we'll, we'll do that. that. We'll do that. But I just, just I, he, he just wants me to leave out. The Ding Dong song is a perfect example of a song that doesn't have any ethnic responsibilities into it. Well, it does. And you're tired of the Indian references. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. So just do I'll one just song. leave it out. Yeah, with no ethnic reference. I'm not addicted to it. No. So I'm going to leave it out. No, you're, you're not, not You're not a racist. I know you're not a racist person. I know you're dumb some bitch, but you are not a racist person. <laughs> Right, there's a big difference. Yes. <laughs> Stupidity runs very deep very in deep. my family. Okay, uh, what are you do? song. Uh, let's just do a simple country song okay. that everyone can kind of hum along with. Uh, Roger Miller. G. C. 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 Engine, engine number nine. Coming down the railroad line. How much further back did she Thank you, Judge Kavanaugh. Listen, I want to sound with no ethnic reference, just once. Oh, just oh I think I can do that. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh, when the red, red robin comes bomb, bomb, bombing along, along, he's a tribal chairman, but. I just wanted to see if you were paying attention. All right, give it. There's a boy, a little boy, shooting arrows in the blue, and he's aiming them at someone. <laughs> but the question is that who? Is it me? Is it you? Hard to tell until you're hit, but you'll know it when they hit you, cause they hurt a little bit. Here they come, pouring out of the blue. Little arrows for me and for you. We're falling in love again. We're talking about Indians again.
one song that I wrote, and we got a track that, uh, that Dave is going to play back there, and you got a part on this. You got your, yeah, your part. Yeah, yeah, I got a part over here. We're good together. Okay, uh, make their mic hot over there. You guys Sit, sit on the same stool there. Okay. All right, we get to, we get to Dave. Dave, I think he's back there. Yep. I think he's back there. He might have gotten a cough. He might have gotten a cough. Uh, 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 hats. Oh, this is hat. This is my idea. 
I thought this was great. It says on there, you can't see it, but it says, make Williams and Reed great again. <laughs> from my Catholic school would have been wearing that hat, there would have been no trouble, all right? I'm send them a bunch of them damn hats and say, these are what you need, man. Don't piss the natives off. So anyway, uh, uh, these, we got that, we got t-shirts. We got t-shirts. T-shirts with Williams and Rhea on Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we're gonna be sued when they find out. No, you can't. You can chip away at a chip off, but you can't sue a sue. Pretty sure. <laughs> But anyway, so we'll be out there immediately following a, a, a couple more tunes here, and, and 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 we'll be selling those souvenirs. And we ask that some of you uh, don't embarrass us like you did last year with no about in the shit. <laughs> we stood out there. The janitors were cleaning up. We made it on the two videos. But anyway, uh, we'll be out. <laughs> we'll be out there, and, uh, and hopefully some of you will want to take, especially those. Make and we, great again. And we do see. have some uh, crap books too. They started out as scrapbooks, but yeah. they're scrap books. <laughs> they tell the real history of Williams and Reed, but only you avid Williams and Reed followers will want that because it tells the real history. Like when we started at uh, uh, Black Hill State and we won a talent contest, you know, they gave us a check, $25 check for the pictures in there. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, we would go over to the girls' dorm and, and sit on the lawn and, and sing because. That's that's uh, the only way you got to be at near a girls' dorm because that's when you couldn't do that. There was not co-ed. There was dorms. no co-ed. Now nowadays they got you know co-eds. You know, yeah. white girls look more black. Guys. Well, well, anyway, just uh, <laughs> and they wonder why they're always there. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, so we we would do that, and that's how we we got started, and then we we found uh, Denny, and and yeah. uh, he formed the uh, formed the group. And, we had a great drummer, and we just had a great, great time for many, many years. And there's some of that history in the crap book. All of it is in the crap book, and some of the pictures are so old and faded, you, we had to put in like 3D glasses. Uh, <laughs> it, it's amazing, because then the Indian just pops right out. <laughs> there's a crossword puzzle in there, because he does crossword puzzles in ink. And then there's cutout dolls, when we were a college freshman, actual size. Uh -huh. uh, then you know, so you can cut the dolls out, and you can dress you know, the Indian like a white guy or the white guy like an Indian. <laughs> and, uh, it was a briefcase. Yeah, it was just, uh, just a fun, fun thing. Fun so anyway, uh, we've got all of those in and we got several other items and, and we're not gonna lie to you people, this is our gambling money. <laughs> Every dollar that we sell out there tonight will not leave this casino. <laughs> We are here for the long term. Yeah, and, uh, and we want to compliment them on the new remodel. They've uh, redone several of the rooms, and boy, they are nice. Absolutely. And they're Beautiful. building on over in this area. I walked out there today. There was a ladder leaning up against a shell of a building. And on the ladder, it said, climb the ladder to success. So I climbed up to the top. There was a guy sitting there. He said, hi, I'm Seth. All right. <laughs> so we do this song for you. This was our... This is our big hit back in the 80s. The song we wrote uh, one time as we journeyed from our home state of South Dakota headed west. Yep. We left South Dakota and drove out across Wyoming. Woo! Anyone here from Wyoming? Wyoming. Of course, Wyoming sucks on this house. Oh, wait, wait, what? From there. There are people from Wyoming? Yes. Where in Wyoming? Sheridan. Sheridan. Beautiful. Where else? Riverton. Riverton. Yep. Oh, what a shit town that is. <laughs> Don't let the Indian fool you. No, no, just so close to Salt Lake yet so far. But anyway, uh, uh, we got our, uh, uh, you know, Wyoming, uh, nothing there but Dick Cheney and his queer daughter. We got across. Hey, Wyoming. Wait a minute, you must have seen Vice. I did. Oh, okay. I did. Uh, we, pulled, uh, we pulled into Utah. Yeah. Provo, Utah. Right. We stopped at this convenience store. It was an Iraqi owned Osmond operated 7 Eleven. Exactly. <laughs> We went into this little stop and rob to get ourselves some Hostess Cream Filled Cupcakes. That's a nutritional plan that works for old charging turtles. That's right. We went in to get some Hostess Cream Filled Cupcakes. They had none. We got torn. They had no Hostess Cream Filled Cupcakes. They, they cup had everything else, but no Hostess Cream Filled Cupcakes. So we got real torqued off. We headed outside. The Indian looked down. He saw some litter on the ground. He gestured like this, which meant the Redskins kick was good. He said, thank you, Nordic Track. And a tear came from one. Listen carefully. To the lyrics of this song, it'll bring a tear to your eyes. Tear, tear, tear. One, two, one, two, three, four. He was eating Twinkies as he drove along the highway. This 
listening to the DJ play Merle Haggard and his baby. He didn't see the semi as he came around the corner and he died with his ding dong in his hand. Yes, he died with his ding dong in his hand. He scattered free filled cupcakes across the land. Whatever life's great big no no was a reaching for his ho ho, but he died with his ding dong in his hand. There was a country singer Who was eating singers as he sang With the Red Hot Country Band And the was really smoking And the singer started choking And he died with his dick dog in his hand Yes, he died with his dick dog in his hand With his hand The last song he sang was really great Oh, he thought he was the mostest Till he did that big black hostess And he died with his ding dong in his hand Everybody, sing along! Yes, he died with his ding dong in his hand He scattered green filled cupcakes across the land Will you now hope and I pray That when I reach that fateful day I will die with a great Mickey Amonis ding or maybe some of them little Debbie cakes that they leave out on the shelf at the Flying J for about 12 years. <laughs> In my hands. Oh, yeah. oh, that was just a fantastic moment. Again, we'll be out there with those souvenirs. This is our gambling money. We yeah. want to gamble with you all night long. Yeah. We suggest that you all hit the casino. The, these, the machines are, it's just, it's a giveaway. It's a giveaway. So <laughs> buy some Wednesday souvenirs and then we'll see you all uh, either at, in the casino or at the bar. Also, one of the gals from the uh, Moon Dance Cafe, Moon Shadow, Moon Shadow mm -hmm. asked me to give her a little plug. So mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to the end of the evening. <laughs> We're going to leave you with this last little song, and before we do that, please give Danny a big round of applause. Good evening, Danny. Good evening. Little Tchaikovsky or something, one of those, one of those, those things that you play so much. Well.
would say he developed his musical talents way beyond what we ever had. So, <laughs> that's why we talk a lot. We talk a lot. Yeah. That's enough. That's enough of that one. I just wanted. I just wanted to just play it. And that's what we're here. We're gonna leave you with this this last little song, and, and uh, then we'll be out there, and then somebody. Yeah. <laughs>